10, that uh, as everyone has received the gift, so also minister to one another, that as everyone has received a different gift and different grace, so we are taught to minister. Uh, in the ministry, there is what we call gift. In the ministry, there is what we call grace. And the grace that uh, you are given is not my grace. Your gift is not my gift. So we are told to minister according to our grace that we are given, according to our gift that we are given. The problem comes with the many Christians. They are copying, copying and paste. When you see somebody ministering this way, you go, you minister that way. When you see somebody doing this way, you go and you start doing that way. That one will only wound you, it will only hurt you, and it will overburden you. Because we are called to minister according to the grace that we are. If you are to preach, preach according to the grace that you have been given. If you are to teach, teach according to the grace that you have been given. If you have been called to do a business, do that business according to the grace and the gift that God has given you. You see, we cannot all, all be preachers. We cannot all be teachers. We cannot all be doctors. We are called, each and every of one, with a different gift. So let us serve according to the gift and according to the grace of God that rests upon us. Because there is a problem in the body of Christ. When you see me preaching, you go to preach. When you see me doing this, you go to do that. So there is a lot of copy and paste. Copy and paste, people copying the grace, people copying the anointing, people copying the teaching, people copying even the ministry. I tell you, when you copy, you will wound yourself, you will only hurt yourself. Let us serve God according to our grace, according to our gift. If you are called to preach, preach. If you are called to do business, do business. If you are called a full time, do the full time. If you have not been called the full time, don't try to do. Because you will be hurting yourself. You will be taking and, uh, and keeping your, your family at risk. Because there are people who are called. They are preachers, but they are called as a part time. But now they are going to do a uh, full time. And when they does that, they hurt themselves. They find that there is no provision. There, uh, there is a saying that they say, where God calls, he provides. Where he calls you, he will provide you. So ask yourself, am I ministering? Am I doing this according to the gift, according to the grace of God? Because if you are not doing according to your grace that you are given, you will hurt yourself. You will, uh, you will be having problems um, and, and, and temptation and such other people that are, are, are changing the grace of God and the gospel because there is no grace. They are trying to press themselves. They are trying uh, uh, to, uh, to, to, to press, to force themselves, to do something that they, they have not been called. And that one is dangerous, my brother and my sister. So if you are called, be, uh, know how, what are you called for. If you have the grace, know which this is grace. Grace has a limit. Grace has a limit. The gift that you have, it has a limit. You cannot do certain thing. We are only to do according to the grace of God that we have been called. So if you are minister, minister according to the grace you have been given. Minister according uh, to the gift that you have been given. According to the anointing that you have been given. And it will be better with you. Because if you do the will of the Lord and you serve God according to your grace, it shall be well with you. If you do according to the gift that God has given you, it shall be well with you. You will not lack. God will provide for you. God will protect you. God will fight your battle. God will stand for you. So let us not copy and paste. Don't copy any other. Just do what you are called to do and you will have joy and peace upon your life. If you find yourself having that you do not have grace, if you find yourself that you don't have the strength to do certain things, we walk by the grace of God. If you find yourself you are struggling, doing something, you are struggling, it's like you are forcing yourself. Know that the grace of God is not with you and you are not called upon that praise. Where you feel you have grace, do it. The business that you feel that you have a business or you have a, 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 a passion, you have that grace, do it. Because when you follow your grace, you follow your gift, you follow uh, your, 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 your anointing, you follow your, the grace, I tell you, it shall be well with you. The Bible says, gift, gift or a talent, it makes you to sit with the king. So if you know your gift, your grace, your talent, you will sit with the king. And that means it shall be well with you. 
So let us serve God according to our gift, according to our talent, according to our, our anointing. And it shall be well in Jesus' name. God bless you. Shalom, shalom, shalom.